In the immediate aftermath of Britain's vote to leave the European Union, France led the calls for some of the City of London's most prized business to be moved to the continent. But the target was a surprise. Derivatives clearing. So what is it and why does it matter? Investors use derivatives to insure themselves against the risk that currencies, interest rates or commodity prices move against them. To support their derivatives trades, they need to put up collateral, also known as margin. Derivatives users go through a process called clearing in case their counterparty in the trade defaults. A clearinghouse acts as an independent intermediary, sitting between the buyer and the seller in a trade. If either the buyer or the seller defaults, the clearinghouse steps in to cover the losses. In doing so, they reduce the risk that a single default will spread throughout the whole financial system. London is the centre of the clearing industry, especially for derivatives that are valued or denominated in euros. The Bank for International Settlements estimates that London hosts half the global clearing market. London is popular because banks, investors and clearing houses like using English law and expertise. And its scale means users can pull their collateral from different derivatives trades together at one clearing house and lower the overall costs, saving them billions of pounds. But some politicians from other European Union countries dislike the fact that their financial companies clear derivatives trades in London. As Britain leaves the EU, they may strip London of the right to clear euro-denominated derivatives. Clearing will be a highly charged issue as Britain renegotiates its relationship with Europe. But how those negotiations play out are, for now, unclear.